Um, this is an extract from my novel, uh, Seduce, and it's called that after the main character. Um, it's set in a mythical Caribbean island called Church Island. Um, and here it is. <laughs> I can hear them, the men, laughing, drinking, joking in a carry-on saucer. And me, lying here just dead. I can still hear them. I chat about the women, them love, and I chat about them wife, them children. <laughs> Some of them bitches, grandpa, already know me. The sound of soaring, the sound of hammering and shaping, men working with wood. I find a little peace now the song. Not yet. Not yet. My mouth is full but silent. My mouth is full but silent. My mouth is full of words but none can leave it. Words like my ancestors before them condemned to that, to swing on the hanging tree, to fester till John Crow come and feast on the words still in whatever is left of my mouth. Soon come. Not ready yet. I'm going to read you something from a paper that I'm working on called Killing Columbus, the Transformation of Whiteness in Post-Colonial Caribbean Imaginal Landscape. And I'll just read you the first couple of paragraphs. Um, Lately, I have been obsessed with the idea of killing Columbus. Not the man himself, who clearly no longer exists, but the Columbus that goes on living in the imaginal landscape of my stories. Sometimes he is alive, a young Christopher wielding a cutlass and terrorizing Arawak women into brutalized silence and despair. At other times he is a white cement statue, perched high on government house steps, wordless, while in the streets below a Junkanoo parade begins and throngs of people, black and brown and white, have arrived to tear apart, limb by limb, the half-human, half-furred sissy boy. Guinea. To eat a Guinea, you must first crack the skin. I am always aware of my mouth and how easily things slip in. There is a myth that follows the fruit like an afterbite. The child who swallows the seed must be turned upside down. I am always aware of my legs on the ground. I am aware that my angle on the ceiling depends on the eating of a fruit. There is no reason to claim control. Your mouth could kill you. Clamp down like the first crack of skin or your earliest attempt at speaking. The seed is guarded by a glutinous flesh tempting enough to be called sweet. You are left hanging by the feet and haunted by the fruit. It is not the same if you destroy the heart of the enemy. It is how you hold your mouth.